Duty in Operation 3 Gridiron gives you new challenges and free earnable content to show your style. Whether you play as a hero or a villain or just want to flex, we've got you covered. So squad up and take down everyone in Operation 3 Gridiron. Hey guys, Shadows here. Welcome back to another Gears 5 video. Today we are going to be discussing the new Tour of Duty arriving with Operation 3, including all of the new character skins, weapon skins and more in Gears 5. Earlier this week, the Coercion Studio revealed Operation 3 with the new Gridiron official gameplay trailer, revealing a ton of details on new characters and new maps, of course the new game mode, but more importantly for this video, the all new Tour of Duty 3 and every single included tour reward, with the official reveal of Clayton Carmine, Cole, Queen Mira and the Ferran Guard all arriving next week on March 31st. That of course means a new opportunity for all new skins based on these existing characters as well as just more also chances for the other characters already in the game to get a brand new look. Tour of Duty is back and better than ever in Operation 3 with a fresh suite of awesome content and new improvements that do now reward the community playing Gears 5 to this day the way that they want to play. As teased in the Operation 3 trailer, we already had the chance to see a few of the upcoming new character skins. This did include the Hive Buster Cole and Recruit Clayton, Collector's Palace Guard and the Armoured Ronan Cantus. We then have as the trailer continues a first look at the return of Lieutenant Phoenix, joined by the introduction of the new Savage character skins for the Swarm, as we get a nice up close shot of a Savage Elite Hunter executing a helmetless Vermello, like Dom did Maria, Boltox style, nasty. During the final clip of the trailer we can see both team factions battle it out for control over the gridiron and flag objective. On the cog side we can see left to right, helmetless Vermello, Armoured Cole, Lieutenant Phoenix, Clayton Carmine and the helmetless Kassan in the far back there. Switching over to the swarm squad we do have Farron Guard, Savage Elite Hunter, Queen Mira, Savage Swarm Drone and the fearful Armoured Ronin Cantus. Alongside featuring a few specific pieces of the brand new customization content coming, the new trailer, similar to Operation 2, also features a clip where it shows the entire library of tour rewards that will be appearing in-game next week, just as part of the Gears 5 Operation 3. So far, based on the trailer itself, there looks to be, at a minimum, 12 character skins, 67 weapon skins, 6 executions, several marks, 6 blood sprays, several banners and 500 iron. Operation 3 character skins that we are right now aware of includes the following. Armoured Ronin Cantus, Collector's Palace Guard, DB Industries Baird, Hot Rod Jack, Hive Buster Cole, Lieutenant Phoenix, Savage Elite Hunter, Private Kassan and Vermello Helmetless, Winter Armour Cole, Recruit Clayton, Savage Swarm Drone and the Farron Elite. For the 67 weapon skins in the game, there are 4 unique sets that the weapon skins belong to which does include Liquid Metal Skin Set, Ink Skin Set, Locust Rune Skin Set and the remaining Niles Animated Weapon Skins. Lastly, for the executions, we have some super gruesome new ways to take out enemy players including all new ideas as well as some awesome nods to the past of Gears. Home run execution for the long shot has the player pick up the sniper by the barrel and swing it at the enemy's head for a full on 10 out of 10 home run. Hang time execution for the talk bow doesn't really tell us much from the artwork as the JD character is looking to the sky while the other player is still down. I really don't know what to go with right here, I don't really have like any guesses for this one. Charged execution for the end bar looks absolutely demoralizing as the player steps the rifle into the back of the enemy before charging it up and blasting the enemy player in quite literally into two. Cold blooded execution for the Boltok is a, another homage to the old Gears games, this time around to the execution that Dominic Santiago had to use on his wife Maria once he did finally find her in the Locust Capture. The player will have the enemy on their knees as they look away and brutally just execute them with a bullet to the head. Off the chain execution for the Lancer is I assume a play on words as the artwork reveals what looks like the player stabbing the bayonet into the back of an enemy and chucking them over the top. The final execution is the Scarecrow for the Breaker Mace, where the player puts the enemy on the end of the Breaker's crystals and lifting them up to the sky for the rest of the battlefield to see, 
If it scares off the enemy team as well, even better. Now, this isn't the only news regarding the Tour of Duty and Operation 3, as TC are making some quality live changes to the system overall. So that gives players who prefer either versus multiplayer PvP or even the Horde and Escape PvE can now also just get rewarded even more specifically for the way that they like to experience Gears 5. TC go on to announce these TOD improvements listed on the WhatsApp on the official Gears website by sharing the following. The most noticeable change when you log in on March 31st will be the extra objective slot in the Tour of Duty system. This goes hand in hand with our rework on the objectives in Operation 3. Two objective slots are now dedicated to generic objectives, example kill X amount of enemies, that can be completed in both a PvE or PvP, plus one slot for PvP and one slot for PvE. This should really help you complete more objectives more consistently just by playing the game in your preferred game mode of choice. This means that we shouldn't have to experience the frustrations anymore onwards after Op3 of logging onto Gears 5 or even just refreshing one of the in-game objectives to be given a PvE based task when you're a multiplayer kind of guy and vice versa. The cursion continues with, Secondly, we've added a mechanic where playing the game in any way also earns you stars. As you finish the matches in PvP or PvE, you'll see progress towards earning additional stars to bolster your tour of duty. Now, whenever you play, you are always working towards completing the tour in any game mode of your choosing. Please make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. What is your guys' opinion on the Gridiron's Tour of Duty and all of its included new rewards? For me personally, I really do enjoy the concept of the Tour of Duty. I only really care for the character skins as I'll be using my Black Phantom weapon skins till the very end of Gears 5. While it's amazing to see a variety of character skins in there, there are a few missing that I noticed straight away like Classic Coal and Fresh Ball Coal. That I really just hope you know isn't ruined by the system of splitting up the new content between a supply, tour of duty, and the pay only in game store. So, there you have it, guys. Full details on the new tour of duty rewards, including all of the character skins, weapon skins, and more in Gears 5's Operation 3. Give the video a thumbs up and share if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I shall see you in the next one.